We had some new money. Got new money in the house. Yeah. Shout out to the homie Minka Fitzpatrick, man, signing his new and improved deal. Um, still said it was officially five years, but it's a four year, um, $73.6 million extension, $36 million guaranteed at signing. <sighs> Officially making him the highest paid safety in the league. Uh, he gets uh, 18 mil per year. And, um, man, my initial reaction to this, amazing deal for the Steelers. I kind of feel like he's a little underpaid still. That's what Vince Williams said. I feel like he's a little underpaid, man, when you talk about him for 18. But definitely love the deal. I think that he deserves to be the highest paid safety. I think that his talent, his smarts, his productivity since he's come here, we can directly point to his impact. And we can see and feel it passes the eyeball test. It passes the stats test. It passes everything you want. He is the prototypical safety in the NFL. So when you talk about, you know, him getting paid when he got paid, I, I loved it. But um, I also love the fact that for Omar Khan, with this being his first opportunity to negotiate a deal, that he got ahead of it. He didn't wait until the end of training camp. He didn't do how it was with TJ or how it's been with a lot of other players here in Pittsburgh where it takes a week or two of training camp. You see those guys there, but not practicing. We see the hold-ins and it's like, man, why do we always have to wait that long? Or we wait till everybody else gets paid. Market has been set and now we're stuck dealing with the pieces. Very similar to what we're talking about with Deontay Johnson, because now we're looking at the wide receiver market saying, dang, man, we don't think he's worth this much, but this is what the market has been set now too. So we don't have a choice in this, you know, sort of speak. Whereas I think with the safety market, it hasn't been said just yet. You talk about Derwin James. He hasn't got his check just yet. Jesse, uh, Jesse Bates, he's on the tag, but he hasn't got paid just yet. So with that being the case, you pay Minka ahead of time. You set the market. So him getting 18, that's great. He's the highest paid safety. Now, Derwin might come here and get 20. But hey, Minka, you already got your deal done now. We don't have to worry about paying you that. We don't have to worry about that conversation of, dang, well, Derwin got 20. Well, shoot, Mink is going 121 then, or Mink is going 122. So it's like you kind of nick that in the bud by going ahead and taking care of him now on the front end. And that's why for me, man, I think, like I said, just across the board, it's a great deal. I think for Minka, it's still a heck of a lot of money. When I mean, you get 36 up front, that that shows that they love you. That shows that they are committed to you on a big time level and they respect the heck out your play. Then the 18 per year, that's just that beauty part where it's like you know what you're worth, but you also know what type of player you are. You're a force, you're a force multiplier. And since he's been here, that's what he's been. And I think he's going to continue to be like that and continue to get better, man. So I love this deal, dude. Yeah. That's what I was saying yesterday. I think it's just dubs all around. Yeah. Omar Khan, 100% right. Mm -hmm. He got the deal done before any of the other safeties between Bates and Derwin James could up that up by, what, three or four million. And also, Easily, I think it's yeah. just a nice move for him to get things started. Yeah. If you're going to make a signing... <laughs> Signing Mika Fitzpatrick to a long term deal, long term extension. That's that's a good little that's thing to put on your that report card. That was the card. safest one, yeah. too. Because if you did Deontay, it's going to have, regardless of what the number is, whether it's 15, whether it's 18, whether it's 20, whether it's 22, he's going to have some type of negative backlash from it. Because there's going to be a certain faction that says, hey, you should not pay him that much money. But with Minka, you don't really have to deal with that because it's Minka. No, and I do think this is a little different from TJ's last year because my tune is a little bit different with mm -hmm. this one. We're both in both instances we're paying these guys top dollar, right? But with TJ's, the thirty million was the thing that was it felt Cause unprecedented because we said quarterback money. Yeah, it was. It's quarterback with Minka, money. Jamal Adams deal seventeen and a half, Harrison mm -hmm. Smith sixteen. So you thought it was time just going to be time between time that and twenty? You said Jamal. You talking about the best in the 17 nation? And a half. That one, the best in the nation. Oh, well, dude, like how about this? I did a little look back on mm -hmm. the Steelers Dolphins trade. So we got yeah, Minka and Kevin Dawson. We traded mm -hmm. a first round pick, correct? And the two guys they drafted are basically no names. I can't even remember them. Yeah. So there's that. But then literally, the off season after that is whenever the Seahawks traded, traded for, for Jamal, uh, Jamal Adams, Adams and, and they and traded the two first round picks. Yeah. And yeah. gave him that contract. So mm -hmm. the Steelers are paying Minka a little bit more than Jamal Adams, which yeah. probably should be way more whenever I you compare agree. their play. Yeah. But still, Jamal Adams, he's <clears throat> not a terrible player. He's just overpaid at this point. But yeah. still, we got 
a dude that's in his prime. We don't think he's declining at yeah. any point. Fits perfect with our system for just like what a million dollars more a year that's than Jamal Adams. That's crazy. And we only gave a first round. Where Seattle crazy. gave up two first rounders. Dude, that's a heck of a win right there, man. But that's OG Kevin Cove right there. Shout out to him. Salute him for that. But yeah, man, I, I love this deal across the board, though, man. You you keep. Are, like you said, the best safety in the league, or if you want to say arguably the best safety, however you want to say it, but he's in that conversation. You keep him here. You lock him up for the next, what, four to five years. You keep this defense intact in terms of your big three, TJ White, Cam Hayward, and obviously Minka. So with that, I mean, yeah, this is this is dope. I mean, now granted, this adds to you know the payroll and stuff like that, and now we know that the defense is the highest paid defense in the league, and we'll talk about that in a second, but as a whole, man, I think that this is this is a guy that you wanted to take care of. You don't have a guy like Mika going into his last season to play. Like no. he, 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 it's certain guys. When you talk about like a Deontay, right? How we will say, hey, maybe you let Deontay play this final year out, and then we see what happens. You do that with the Deontay. You can consider that with the Deontay because Deontay isn't a top three player at his position league wide. Good, really, really good player, but just not top three at his position in the NFL. When you're talking about Minka Fitzpatrick, that's like the T.J. Watt conversation. That's kind of like when L. Bell in his conversation, A.B., when he was trying to get paid. Certain guys, it's like, nah, you don't put them uh, that you don't put them in that position because they are worth the money. You pay them. You give them that check. It, uh, I mean, we, we like to say you cut them the blank check, but we know in Pittsburgh we got we, we, we gonna have some parameters on ours. But it's like you pay those guys. And it was good to see them keep that same energy, especially with Omar, because this was his first go around. We didn't know if he was going to operate completely like Kevin Covert. We see the similarities, but we also see the difference here. The similarity is, all right, they took care of the guys in house. The difference is they ain't wait till the end of training camp. They didn't wait till it got to late trobe. He took care of it now. So to me, as like I said, it's across the board, man. It's just it, it makes a lot of sense to do this. It makes it just like I said, just a smart move. With us taking care of it now. What's interesting about that is, what was the initial offer the Steelers were given then? That's this what I'm this to feels like out. a deal in the yeah, Steelers' favor right that's now. That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. Maybe Minka, because you know, we talk about him potentially being a little bit underpaid or taking a yeah. hometown discount. Maybe that's what Minka valued though, a little bit. Yeah. Give the Steelers some extra money to spend on the defense. Mm-hmm. I already got my money. I'm highest paid safety yeah. in the league. What else yeah. do I really need? Because 18 a year at it all, It's all on what you want, you know? And I'm trying to think what. So he'll be. He'll be, what, 29 then when this is done? Oh, uh, how old is he now? Probably 25, 26? Because he's 25 right now, right? Yeah, that's 29. That's what I was thinking, yeah. 25 plus 4, 29? Is he 25? I thought you were checking to see if he was 25. I I th- I was I, I'm check. saying I thought he was 25. <laughs> yeah. He, he is 25, yes. Yeah, okay. So he yeah. turns 26 in November. Yeah, so you still have another chance to hit him again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bring him back on a little two, three year that's deal what I'm after saying. that. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Who knows? Maybe he's still playing awesome. Yeah. You give him even a four year extension at that point. Yeah. Safeties can age pretty well. No, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And because he's such a smart player, it helps his game so much. Like the athletic ability makes him the elite player that he is, but his mind is what makes him just a regular good player because he knows where to be. He's always in the right position. He's always ready. You know, you, you hardly ever see Minka out of position. You hardly ever see Minka blow an assignment. That's just not him. So that part always will have him at a certain level, even when his athletic ability starts to decline because of how smart he is. Think almost like a Charles Woodson type. Because of how smart Charles was, he was able to just keep playing, just keep playing. Even when he was slowing down, just keep playing. So I think with him, and he'll be in a similar conversation. Another good thing is I think everyone's pretty much in agreement. This is a good move Yeah, from Steeler Nation, right? Yeah. I felt, I mean... The only because I couldn't even think of a negative when I was looking. I'm like, okay, I if, I, if I wanted to find a negative, what could it be? The only thing I can say is, okay, you keep paying the defense and keeping them together, but it's like we're not keeping the bad players together. We're paying the elite players. Like if we we're paying Alex Highsmith this eighteen million dollars right now, yeah, a red flag. Hey, chill out. Or even Tim right now. Hey, whoa, whoa, chill out. If this was a Devin Bush deal, if this was a Kello or a Levi, sure. If this was Edmonds, yeah, you still act like that. We got him for a million and a half. Right. Right, two million, something like that. That's just crazy. Man. I'm like, but man, when you get him for a million, you get Minka for 18. I'm like, man, this, I can't find a negative with this. I really can't. And then I thought of Minka's game, and I'm like, the biggest flaw that I've ever had with Minka was when, at times, he didn't like he wanted to be a tackler. He didn't like he wanted to take good angles and hit. And that was two years ago. 
But we said last year, no. it was night and day. He was jacking people up. Absolutely. Last year, you could tell, no, this is a part of his game that he wanted to improve, and you could watch him and physically see it. You could feel it. It was just a different version. Unfortunately, it was on full display last year with guys yes. running straight through our defensive yes. line in front yes. seven like nothing. Yeah, he, he should not. I don't ever want Mika to have 120 tackles again, 120 plus tackles again. I'm good on that, bro. But, but. what I'm glad about is no one within Steeler Nation mm-hmm. that's – talking about this move yeah. is really paying attention to pff shitty rankings or Uh-oh. madden's shitty Uh-oh. ratings because i'm telling you dude they Uh-oh. have minka like ranked outside the top 10 bro you better stop lying to me don't they, do that why they you always said, lying? why you always want to do that well, you come in here you bring this pff nonsense and you be lying to me making me get all upset i'm just I don't want to be a upset good thing then. it's I a good thing Steeler fans know football listen i was That's outside all. i was getting some tranquility i was getting some equanimity in this thing and now you want to come here hollering about some pff man i'm about the pfd I'm just telling you, dude, it's crazy. And a lot of people will go off what they think the proper safety ratings are or how they grade I this can't player or that. Some people go off that completely yeah. because they had Minka rated pretty bad last year. Man. But if you watch the games, I thought he played unreal. I thought he deserved yeah. another All-Pro. He just didn't have the picks like the first two years. Yeah. But he still had, what, four turnovers he forced last year, if I remember correctly, right? Probably. I mean, yeah. he was flying all over the place. That's what I'm saying. Like, Minka, to me, man, Minka put together an awesome season last year. He just didn't have the And our defense picks. sucked, too. That yeah. didn't help. Yeah. Just defense as a whole sucked. Yeah. Well, uh, he was out there, I mean, like you said, he, he was playing big linebacker. That's what he was. <laughs> hey. He was. That sucks. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think if I got anything else for this one. Yeah. No, it's just a good move. I'm happy we don't have to deal... Yeah. So we had to last year with TJ Watt to hold in and became yeah. more and more of a story. Deal's done right now. Um, we don't have to worry about Minka holding in, even though there was some reports about that. Yeah. But I think that was just going to be expected, mm-hmm. right? Unfortunately, the story would just build more and more as we got closer to week one if a deal wasn't signed. Yeah. But yeah, deal's done and we're good to go, I think. 